Oh, Moose Jaw, we've got a treat for you today. We've got Moon Tan in the studio. Boys, say what's up. Hey. Awesome. Um, they are going to be playing with John Dale, Johnny Two Fingers, and the Deformities, and Garrett Delorier uh, here at Chillers tonight. And it's going to be an amazing show. Do not miss this. It's going to be so much fun. Um, so, like I said, we've got Moon Tan in the studio today. This is Nick. He is the drummer. Uh, Nick, what's up? Oh, just uh, hanging out in Moose Jaw, having the time <laughs> of my life. Right on, right on. So we got a couple of questions here for you. Um, you guys are just um, on tour right now, just finishing up. Is that what I get? Yeah, you're well, actually, this home? is the uh, no, this is the second date of our tour. Um, oh, you're starting. Yeah, we're only doing a little sort of four day thing uh, okay. on our way to a festival in Alberta. So when we saw you guys come across the first time, what were you? That was a little bit of a longer one. We did. Okay, uh, so you yeah. ended one and then started. Yeah. Okay. So this one is, yeah, this is in the, the beginning of a tour. But yeah, the last time we were here, we did a little Western thing as well. That was yeah. the end. So. And the Moose Jaw stop, was that just kind of like a last minute thing? or? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Well, Because uh, you yeah. caught us off guard a little bit. Yeah, well, like, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of just the planning uh, process took a little bit longer. And we were still looking for a gig. So I uh, sent an email to my friend John and he made the magic happen and then... Awesome. Rest is history. Yeah, that was such a great show. Um, I want to talk about influences really quick. You guys, I hear so much in your music. Like I got, just for example, I've got the chilies. I hear the chilies, especially with the, the bass. Fuck, man. So awesome. Um, Zeppelin, I hear a lot of Bonham in your drumming. A lot of powerful chugging. Um, what else? Uh, Primus, again, with the bass. Um, Rush, obviously. Um, so I'm just kind of wondering what kind of influenced this new album and what are maybe some of the influences for Moontan. Feel free to shout out, boys, if you want. But we'll start with you, Nick. Um, well, the influence on the new album was just, yeah, I don't know, a lot of it just random. It, like, a lot of the songs just come to us just like little pieces and then we'll, yeah. we'll put it together from there. I don't know if there was like a definite influence on the whole thing. Yeah, like we weren't necessarily yeah, going. We... Yeah, it was all just kind of like, yeah. Um, we had we actually had we started with like fourteen songs and then we kind of like narrowed it down to the best six. Yeah. So right. yeah, we kind of took the cream of the crop. But yeah, a lot of the ideas are just kind of like come from the ether and yeah, then we kind of develop them from the ether. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are what are some of the what's got, what's the kind of music that you guys like to? What do you guys like to listen to? What, um, what gets Moon Tan going? Well, I think well like the three of us have like similar tastes but very different def like different at the same time yeah um like for myself i'm into like a lot of uh sort of like fusion stuff like um i listen to a lot of like the mahavishnu orchestra and like tony williams and stuff like that i know brady's a big prince fan that's cool. like yeah. his his guy at the yeah. moment and uh adrian is interested in he likes a lot of prog stuff like yes and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's yeah. but we're, like we all kind of like the same stuff but it's just i guess yeah, I, can, I definitely hear, I was actually going to mention that, in your drumming too, is I hear a lot of like the fusion drumming, uh, almost like um, some of the drumming on like Bitches Brew from Miles yeah, Davis. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, like uh, like for myself, I have a background in like jazz drumming. Oh, of course you do. Yeah. So there it is. a lot of the stuff, <laughs> yeah, like that's kind of like an influence on me for yeah. like approaching stuff is like, yeah, de definitely how you approach things is kind of like based on your musical background. So for me, a lot of jazz stuff. Yeah, and it's such a treat for the fans, I think, too, because when you come to the show, like you guys said, you were, you were started off as a cover band, right? Yeah. So, like, you've got all these different influences and stuff, and so at the shows, you get a little bit of this, you might get a Rush cover here, you get some of their original stuff, it's so fun. The live show is so amazing. Um, are you guys going to put out, like, a live DVD? Or Maybe something? eventually. Like... That sells you guys so yeah, well. Yeah, totally. Well, we try to get so we try to get a lot of live footage because that, like, obviously for us, that's a big selling point. It's like yeah. coming to see the show. You know what I mean? So we try to like get as much stuff. But probably in the near future, we'll we'll have something, oh, some awesome. kind of like de de definite uh, live footage. Cool. Um, quick question about the whole moon tan thing. What story? Like, and um, Adrian is the crescent moon, right? And we've got Brady is the half moon. And Nick, you are the full moon, obviously. Yeah. So what is the story? Is there some like a really elaborate, like you're the full moon because of this, you're the crescent moon? Uh, like I wish there was, oh. but uh, <laughs> no, like it, like obviously we have the name Moontan that came before the image, but it was almost like a, 
a dual brainwave thing that me and Adrian had. We were talking about because we were kind of like trying to figure out what our our presence was going to be, like our live presence. You know what I mean? Because we mm-hmm. wanted to make something that was a little bit more interesting than just us in our uh, skivvies or whatever. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah what's, so what's the deal with the open? <laughs> okay, now there's a story behind it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So we kind of just like we wanted to make make statements. So it was kind of like yeah, the moon the moon thing kind of came to us and it was. It was a cool idea, so we kind of stuck with it, and yeah. But there's no like, he's the crescent moon because of this, or your full moon. Perhaps I don't know. Maybe there's like, there's probably uh, like a behind story that's much deeper than our understanding. <laughs> you probably got but, really, really drunk one night and you yes. had the stories of like, we should write this down, <laughs> man. And you just exactly. got drunk and forgot. Fair enough. Um, I'm just gonna talk about the new album really quick. Um, new Age Renegade. Yeah. Uh, so good. Yeah, I guess it's an EP. Would you call it an EP? Uh, well, I think it's it's got just over songs. an album because I think it goes by length. So I think we're just pushed past the qualifying for like a full full length album. Okay. Um. So yeah. So technically, it's like a full length release. Okay. But it's a little bit shorter for sure. Yeah. It sounds so good. Really crisp. Um. You guys recorded at Paradise Alley yep. in Winnipeg with. Dale Penner. Yep. And Dale Penner, I looked him up. I didn't really know anything about him, but he's worked with some really big acts. Uh, you've got Nickelback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one guy in the background. That was Nick. Uh, uh, Matthew Goodband. That's one of my favorites. Um, Joey Santiago from the Pixies. That's so cool. Uh, Jimmy Barr from Portishead. Uh, Katie Lang. A lot of big names. So, um, how was how was recording there? Was it, uh, it was awesome. Yeah, was it was like to work with. Yeah, it was really like yeah, it was really awesome. It's it was. I think we were really lucky in that sense, just because um, like he Dale is kind of he was from the Vancouver recording scene. Oh, okay. So like he's just he's super knowledgeable and like just getting sounds. He's really good. Like the whole album just turned out really well, and it was just so it was really kind of like it was a really good thing for us to yeah. to record with him because he's just so knowledgeable. So how long did it take you guys to put it together? pretty Um, quick yeah it wasn't too long like we did the bed tracks in like three days or something three or four days and then the guitars were that took a little bit longer um and then the vocals but i think in total maybe it took us like i don't know 15 days maybe don't quote me on that though but probably around there yeah that's good so okay uh last one here we're gonna have a little bit of fun we're gonna do some just quick little rapid fire questions. Actually, I only got a couple, so we'll do it really quick. This is gonna be the end here. Um, so, really quick, we'll get one from each of you here. Uh, favorite song right now, Adrian. Um, I could die for you. By, uh, like, right. okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite song of the moment for him. Yeah. Okay. Just, after that spaghetti meal. Like, <laughs> 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 you die for spaghetti. Uh, Brady? Santa Monica by Three of Dead Men. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going the mainstream route. That's fair enough. <laughs> that's the one that was in my head right now. Yeah. Okay. That's an honest opinion. Awesome. Oh, favorite song of the moment. Um, what's, uh, what's on your Sony on Walkman? Mind. Right now, I've been listening to the song Rock and Roll Outlaw Law by Rose Tattoo a lot. If you know the band. Yeah, I don't. They're really good. They're, they're like an Australian band. Kind of like ACDC, but like a little oh, okay. rougher. You'll have to look that one up, Nikki. We can play that one at the end. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, perfect. Uh, next one. Inner speaker, lonerism, or currents? It's my favorite question. Come on, guys. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Tame Impala Records. Just blank stares. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. It's bad. We're, do you we're guys a little bit behind the times. I thought you maybe like that because they're kind of like the new progressive band. Yeah, no, we're just we're we're pretty much stuck in the Stone Ages. Like we're, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. We're approaching. Maybe, maybe we'll skip that one. <laughs> um, shit. Okay, I thought you guys would eat that up. <laughs> okay. Um, most essential item you brought on tour with you. Most essential item, probably, uh, like shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Adrian. Um, I would have to say. A uh, large bag of uh, sweet and salty popcorn. Large bag of sweet and salty popcorn. Fair enough. All right. Brady? Rubber duck. A rubber <laughs> duck. <laughs> All right. I really expected different answers here, but I'm okay with it. The honesty, I love the honesty. It's good. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming in. Awesome. Um, Thanks for having us. Yeah, for sure. Um, again, this show starts at 9 p.m. Am I right, boys? Dale? Dale's here, too. Sure. Um, <laughs> Dale. Dale. Why did I call you Dale? I never call you Dale. I call you John. <laughs> okay, so it starts at 9, right? That's the first act. That'll be Garrett. 9, 9.30, yeah. 9, 9 30. So we yeah. got Garrett and then you guys. Yeah. John. And then what? Yeah, no, I think no, I think Mutan then us. Okay. Or I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. They're the they're the the big local act, so right. we gotta close. Just down. come at nine. It's all gonna be awesome, and do <laughs> not miss these guys. It's gonna be so much fun. I promise you. Mm-hmm.